Hey guys, welcome to Top Anime Sensei. This video is the continuation video after Dai, Integration. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it, the link is in the description. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates. Now that I had become a demon lord, it was best that I watch my back around them. But now wasn't the time to have idle thoughts. And to the holy knight captains, you are a bit too useless, ending up on the verge of death after that week of an attack. In any case, you guys cannot even begin to compare to the master swordsmen of the past, much less stand against me," Granbull proclaimed, sounding like he was convinced about his words. In essence, he declared in front of Hinata that she wasn't on his level. What a pathetic joke, I'll trouble you to be my opponent now, Hinata sneered in reply. Apparently, she'd gotten serious as well. I wouldn't have a chance to take the stage, or so I thought, but I was once again caught up in wishful thinking. A huge explosion went off inside the Grand Cathedral. Is that Rezul? I ordered him to destroy the Grand Cathedral, and it looks like he's doing it rather flamboyantly. What? You bastard. The children and the band members were all inside the Grand Cathedral, even though I ordered Xion, Diablo, and the other guards there, if they were to start fighting inside, some people may be affected as a result. I wanted to take care of Granbell as soon as possible, and to do that, I'd need to get rid of these hindering enemies first. After settling on the idea, I decided to teleport back to the Grand Cathedral, yet I was interrupted by Granbell. Demon Lord Rimuru, these people shall be your opponents. Some of them may be your countrymen, but do enjoy yourself now. Several individuals under Granbell's command showed up. The word countryman was a bit too worrying, I immediately caught on what he had meant. Their ages varied and consisted of different ethnicities too. At first, the composition seemed to be disorganized, but they all shared one common point in core, and that was that every single one of them possessed a magical content far exceeding the average person's. Otherworlders? Huh, I see, no wonder some of them may be Japanese like me as well. Uh. There's no time to idle around, since more than 10 otherworlders were charging at me simultaneously. It looked like they were controlled by a curse like Glenda, even their free will seemed to have been deprived. Under this state, even if I were to break their curse, they probably wouldn't stop either. But, Cuckoo, do you truly intend to fight them? These people are only being manipulated by me, you know. What a cunning man. He told me this deliberately, probably thinking it would keep me from making a move. While I didn't want to give up like this, I had to admit that it was a very effective method. I heard that you go soft very easily. Are you hesitant to extend your killing hand to the innocent? Or will you see this as warfare and choose to defend yourself? Either way is fine. Granville merely considered the summoned otherworlders as his weapons. In truth, they were just like simple consumable items to him. Even if I were to kill them all, he would probably act just like how he proclaimed, completely untroubled. What a very difficult opponent. He had done some extensive research on me. If you were to run into people like Diablo or Xion, they would have cleaned house without hesitation. Considering from that perspective, I wasn't sure if it was good or bad that the one facing these enemies was me. Oh damn it, so troublesome. There was no time for complaints. If I didn't act fast enough, the children would be in danger and the casualties would increase too. At this point, there was only one way out. It was complicated, but I could manage, dispelling their curse one by one and knocking them out non-lethally. With that, I was roped into battle as well. A fellow Japanese person launched an attack at me. Some of these otherworlders might actually not be from Earth. Was it possible that they came from some other planet or dimension? Perhaps these thoughts indicated that I'd regain some of my cool. Otherworlders had very strong constitutions, and they may possess some unknown special abilities. It went without saying that they were dangerous, but they posed no threat against me right now. Even if I were completely unguarded, they wouldn't have been able to harm me, even if they sent that Glenda. That's just how overpowered when absolute defense was combined with infinite regeneration. While they were difficult to handle, they were just that. I could probably manage to paralyze them all given some time, and without harming them during the process. I wasn't underestimating my enemies, this was just my genuine thought. After all, I had Wisdom King Raphael San. I wouldn't have the chance to underestimate my enemies. Considering this, I invested a part of its impressive calculation power to observe my surroundings. First was Hinata who was fighting not far from me. Granbell wasn't talking anymore, but was locked in an elegant sword fight against her. Just like Hinata, he was only using a rapier. His right hand held the sword while his left hand was held behind his back. 
It seemed like he would only use his left hand when casting magic. Tisk, have you been holding back your power as the master of sun? I recall that you were known to be best at fighting with bare hands in close quarters. Turns out your swordsmanship was masterful as well. Ehe, <laughs> I have mastered all weapons. I merely did not need to use them in the past. Aura, I see. Then allow me to wipe that casual look from your face. Hinata wasn't holding back from the beginning. It was very obvious considering she was using her moonlight rapier. What was curious was Granbel's sword. It was already unusual that he had a sword that could rival Hinata's. Answer, regarding the grade of the sword, analysis failed due to interference, deduced to be above legendary grade. The analysis result was rather surprising. Lately, Raphael Sin had been entirely reliable. I was rather taken aback by this turn of events. I might have underestimated Granbel a little too much. I never expected it to come to this. Could even Hinata lose to him? No, that can't be. There was no way that could happen. However, the terrifying thing was that I couldn't say for sure. Even Wisdom King Raphael San couldn't see through the abilities of the enemy. While Hinata and Granbel's duel was concerning, there was another fight that caught even more attention. There was some intense fighting taking place in the Grand Cathedral. I raised the precision of my magic perception and focused on the situation. There was a man in black armor. Shockingly, when faced with Xion and Diablo, he wasn't even phased. Ah, no wonder. This guy's magical content was more than Xion and Diablo's combined. This is insane. Oi, what kind of a hidden trump card is that? He's stronger than an average demon lord. That's only natural. In order to combat the army of demon lords and the monsters hostile to humanity, no amount of trump cards can be reassuring. I was surprised. He even had the time to do that while fighting against Hinata. What an opportunity presented itself since he had answered that I might as well get more detailed information from him. It could also distract him, killing two birds with one stone. That guy seemed to be a lot stronger than the demon lord imposter Roy, but isn't he stronger than you too? I asked Granville in a rather provoking tone. His name is Razul, a friend that I've known for thousands of years, Granville calmly answered. Hinata did not speak. She probably had understood my intention and didn't want to interfere. I continued with this plan. So you are friends, but Razul San doesn't look very human. So what? I didn't know what to say upon getting the question thrown back so abruptly. Even though I really wanted to figure out his true identity, learning that he was not human was a gain of sorts. No, it's nothing. I seem to have killed the conversation. I kinda regret my choices now. Razul is a race that enjoys longevity, my close companion during my prime. He's a lot stronger than the Holy Knight Captains, so your subordinates may have a hard time fighting him. Granbel was right. Xion and Diablo were indeed in a tough fight. And here I thought that there was no need to worry when Diablo was around. Could that thought have been too naive as well? No, the way he was fighting didn't look right. For some reason, Diablo didn't seem to be focused. Report. Unusual spatial distortion detected. This is an indication of someone using spatial movement. Raphael Sin's warning suddenly rang in my head. Had it not been urgent, it wouldn't have warned me. That's why the situation must have been dire. If that was the case, I shouldn't hold back either. Diablo probably noticed this anomaly too. That's why he wasn't concentrating on the fight. Ranga, are you there? I'm here, master. Got it. I want you to support Xion covertly. Understood. Ranga used Shadow Step to stealthily enter Xion's shadow. Now that the preparation was complete, I gave my next order. Diablo, was your mind on something else? My apologies, Rimuru-sama. To fall into a hard battle should be considered a misconduct of mine. In truth, this individual is far stronger than I expected. He is a rare insect-type monster, and what's more, he's in his complete form. They are like a natural enemy to us demons. According to Diablo, the insect-type monsters were magical beasts from a different dimension that possessed the power of spirits. They sometimes would show up in this world. It was extremely rare for one to evolve to humanoid form. With that being the case, Diablo still had a chance to win. However, he had yet to defeat the enemy. In other words, the reason Diablo had been so concerned with was far worse than Razul. The thing that was distracting him had arrived through spatial movement. I could only hope that Diablo would handle whatever it was. Xion, you heard us. If Diablo is finding excuses, the situation must be dire. Upon saying so, I sensed Diablo's guilt internally. He would never find excuses under normal circumstances. That's why I could tell if he was hiding something right away. In order for Diablo to move freely, I'd have Xion and Ranga hold the ground here. 
Right now, Ranga is hiding in your shadow. I want you two to cooperate and beat that insect-type monster, Rezul. It goes without saying. I will not let down Master's expectations. Xion also seemed to realize that Diablo was acting strange. Even if I hadn't given the order, she would probably have done the same. However, for Xion alone to handle the powerful Rezul, she would fall in crisis. It wasn't that I lacked confidence in Xion, but rather that I wanted to find the safest solution possible. While two-on-one may be dishonorable, we should always fight with the hope of a 100% chance of victory. Diablo, go and handle what's on your mind. Also, you should trust your companions more and learn to rely on them sometimes. Kyufufu, understood. Looks like I can be a little pretentious at times. Very well, I shall resolve the problem right away. Not just a little, too pretentious, to be honest. But at least this helped him get his usual pace back. How wonderful. Then, let's get moving. Understood. I gave the order rather out of practice, as the three replied in high spirits. I just needed to believe they would bring me the best outcomes. I focused my attention back on paralyzing the otherworlders. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched my other videos then please watch them. The links are in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.